What do we get? Good job. Actually, I don't think it's three and a quarter inch, but that's what I wanted, but this is what we ended up with. We only got three sheets. We needed four. But I think three sheets should do it after looking at them. I know the front deck is gonna take one whole sheet for sure, but the two sides and then whatever excess I have should cover the rest. So we're gonna get this loaded up and then we're gonna wake up in the morning and then we're gonna go get, hopefully the decking at least cut out and she's gonna go celebrate Father's Day. I'm gonna celebrate Father's Day by fixing the boat up, and then when it's done, I'll be able to take Dad out on the boat. So, we're gonna pick you guys up tomorrow, so see you then. All right, guys, it's the next day. I got the OSB board, or the plywood, I should say, in the back of my truck. I just gotta get it unloaded, and then we are going to try to get those pieces cut today, and that's pretty much gonna be the only part to this video. I really need to get those pieces cut. Unfortunately, I can't make any more progress on the boat until I order the stuff that I have on my Amazon because it's stuff that I kinda need to hide under the decking. And part of that order is the flooring that I'm going to put on the boat. The only thing that we're going to do today and try to get knocked out today is get the decking traced out. I have all the pieces laying out right here. I should have enough. I got three sheets. I know that the front portion is going to take one whole sheet. The back portion should take one sheet. And then I should have one left over for anything else that I may need. I have this really long piece right here that goes on one of the sides in that little sliver, which also goes on one of the sides. So I think three sheets should be enough. We're going to get that done. We're going to try to get those boards in here, get them traced up, get them at least situated on the boat, not necessarily bolted down or fastened down at all that should be a good start and then i'll order the stuff off amazon and once i get that stuff in we can make a little more progress on the boat so let's get those things unloaded trace these pieces and try to get them cut I don't really have any saw horses so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna prop them on to get them cut but we'll figure it out when that time comes so hopefully we have enough decking which we should I have three sheets just by looking at this I think we should be able to do it it's just a matter of me hopefully not screwing up which is a good possibility might happen bear with me here let's try to get these knocked out and get them test fitted on the boat so let's get out Okay, I know that's really far over there. I might move the camera closer, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maybe on at least two of the corners, put a little screw down in there. That way it holds its place while I trace and it doesn't move all over the place. Shouldn't affect it. I have to drill through the wood anyway. The first piece is laid out right there. As you can see, I actually might be able to get one of the back pieces to fit on that side. So I might have a spare sheet, which is amazing. Actually might be able to get it done. I'm not sure. That's the first biggest piece. I'm going to try to get that knocked out. That way I can see what I kind of have left over and what else I'll need. So let's go. I'm sweating. It's hot out. And for some reason, when I talk really fast to the camera, um, one, I don't know why I talk too fast. Two, I run out of breath. So I need to get in shape and lose some weight. So let's get started on this decking tracing cut ASMR.
It's time to start a big debate. Comment down below, DeWalt or Milwaukee. Any others, you can try to debate it in the comments, but it's probably not gonna go so well. So DeWalt or Milwaukee, comment down below. I'm a DeWalt, I'm a De DeWalt, DeWalkey guy. I'm a DeWalt guy, I meant. Cause I like yellow, I don't really like red that much. So that's why I picked this one. And that's why all my tools are this color now. So um, find me in the comments down below, all you Milwaukee fanboys. Also, another thing, if you guys haven't used these uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws before, you're missing out. They're absolutely amazing. I use them for just about everything. All the rock lights that are screwed to my frame, I actually use these. And usually, for the most part, if it's in an area that's pretty flat, they go freaking right through. Freaking right through. Even better than just right through. So you should try them out. Um, I'm not sponsored, but I wish I was because I use these screws all the time. And we're going to use them to screw down that board over there which obviously these are not wood screws but it should work just fine
All right. So I understand that it's really loud because grandma decided to pressure wash the backhoe and literally five feet from me, but bear with me. I apologize. I'm going to try to yell. But with that being said, if I yell, I'm going to run out of breath quicker because I'm fat and I need to lose weight and I need to get in shape. But on that note, I got all the pieces cut that I need to cut right now. I have those two little sliver pieces. I'm not going to worry about those right now because I should actually be able to test fit these fine in those little sliver pieces. The one on the one side, which is not grammatically correct at all, but the one on the one side, uh, that's where all the wires are going to run through and that's the bigger portion. And then that little sliver piece on the other side, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there. I might, you know, do something different. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to worry about those right now. but. The front deck's cut and the back deck is cut. So we're gonna go test fit those, see if those fit. They should fit fine. I mean, I traced them exactly how they were off the boat. So uh, actually, I think I probably did a little bit better. So we're gonna try those right now and see if they fit. So let's do that. All right, here's floor number one. Let's see if she fits. All right, so there is a tiny little gap on the outside portion. Um, Sorry, again, with the volume. But there is a uh, little gap. I could probably split the difference a little bit. Probably put that, probably put that decking about right there. Uh, I'm not sure. So, not a huge deal. I think the reasoning for that is I traced these without the carpet on, and I should have probably traced them with the carpet on, but part of the issue was I couldn't get the boards off if I kept the carpet on. So um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So it shouldn't be a big issue, but I have two extra sheets now. So I could probably recut these. Um, I think with the flooring all on, I could probably put the flooring a little bit further on the edge. And then that should, you know, kind of cover that gap a little bit. I think for the first decking board, it looks pretty dang good. Let's get the next one on and let's go over to the other side and try to put that on and see where we're at with that. See ya in a second. Again, on this side, there is a small gap on what will probably be the outer edges because I'd rather not have a gap on the inner part of it. Probably just kind of cut that flooring just a little bit long and then that'll kind of alleviate anything from getting inside these little cracks. But really structurally, it's not gonna be an issue. Again, I think it's because I should have probably traced it with the carpet on because that carpet actually, believe it or not, is probably thick enough to cover those gaps. So I'll fix that when I put my other flooring down. With that being said, I would say it's pretty freaking good. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, the biggest one is that front flooring. That front flooring is probably what makes me the most nervous. So I would imagine all the outer edges are gonna kind of be the exact same as this one, but I think it's starting to come together pretty well. So I need to get that flooring ordered. I'll skin this basically put it over the top of it and see how that works uh i'm gonna do that foam stuff i have it in my cart i'm pretty excited about that stuff so hopefully that works out like i think it should this boat is gonna look a hundred percent better and a hundred percent different let's kind of just leave these here and we'll move some stuff around and try to get that front portion on one two, third third deck board about to go on so let's get it this one fits pretty much like a glove. Couple of the edges, same thing, a little bit of a gap. Obviously, hatch here, hatch here, so uh, hinges will be on there. So hinges, hinges. We could probably go this way a little bit with it or whatever the difference is here so we can put those hinges on. Other than that, I'm pretty excited about this fitment. It fits really freaking well. So that means we got all the deck boards cut that we need to get cut. That also means we just need to put flooring down. I'll kind of walk through with my idea on the flooring. Been kicking a lot of ideas around. Front and the back's gonna all be foam, I know that. As far as the flooring in the center, I think that's gonna be foam as well. The carpet on the sides, I think I'm gonna keep that. So uh, I think I think it'll kind of come together. If I end up not liking uh, how I did it on the sides with keeping the carpet, we could just change it out. We could cut it off and figure something else out. So I might actually look into a different color. I was gonna do like a brown and a black. I don't know if brown, black, and gray would be a good idea. So maybe I'll just get some black carpet and change all the gray carpet. 
So it's like, I don't know. Tons of different ideas that are kind of floating around my head. One other thing that I need to do is I'm gonna rewire this whole entire boat. Basically it used to have, it had the little like cylinder fuses. I'm gonna put all new blade fuses in. On the front and the back of the boat, I think I'm gonna actually put some USB or USB-C ports. And then I'm gonna mount a uh, pole where we could put a GoPro. That way when we go out fishing, we can get a crap ton of fishing content. If Eric and I wanna go do like a fishing challenge video or I just wanna take dad on the boat and film that or whatever. So we might turn into a little fishing YouTube channel, which is completely fine with me because that's kind of one of the first styles of YouTube that I fell in love with. So if you're watching this, Andrew Flair, Alex Perrick, John B, any of those guys, Lunkers, any of those guys, you guys have definitely inspired me in the fishing world, so that's why I'm gonna try to get this boat fixed up because I miss fishing. I don't do much catching, but I just enjoy being out on the water. So that's actually gonna conclude today's video, believe it or not. Uh, I think this is a good stopping portion because I really can't move forward too much just with the fact that I need to run some wires and do a couple things, so I don't wanna put the boat back together or screw anything down yet. I know a crap ton of you guys are watching these videos and you haven't hit that subscribe button. If you guys don't know what it is, that's absolutely fine. Just go down to the bottom of this video. There should be a little button. It says subscribe. Just click that button. And if you want to, you can hit the bell so you guys are updated when I post different videos, whether it be fishing, off-road stuff, whatever it may be. If you guys enjoy the channel, please, please do that. It means a lot to me. And I'll just be able to make better videos uh, here on out. So. I appreciate you guys so much. I don't know why I just hit that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ten toes down, I'm around.